All right. It is Randomizer Sunday once again. And... Okay, interesting. Um, it's time to do Worlds Collide again. It's been a little bit since we've done this one. Okay, this is literally just the normal stuff. That's fine. Uh, and I wasn't sure how exactly this worked, but I guess now I know. Because um, one of the options when I was doing this... So I, I did the replay... Uh, preset for the randomization and uh, one of the things that that does is it makes it a ran these these values that are at the bottom seven characters ten aspirations and one dragons is uh, was random within ranges okay so it is seven ten and one uh, and I wasn't sure how I would know what I needed but that that is the that is the number that uh, that's basically what they are Assuming bare minimum is what you're gonna need. Wait, what does KT entrance mean? I have no idea. Oh, Kefka's Tower entrance, right. Yeah, so you, you can't go into... I'm not sure if that means that you can't go into Kefka... I think that means you literally can't even go into Kefka's Tower unless you've got seven characters, got ten espers, and killed one dragons. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's just get started. We start with a random character. Uh, our abilities are randomized as well, which I... Okay, so we actually just started with Terra. That's interesting. Uh, our abilities are randomized, which was not... Oh, wait. We have Terra and Gogo? Okay. Terra and Gogo. That's weird, because I thought we were only supposed to start with one character, but maybe it was... Random number of starting characters? I don't know. I thought I only had one, but apparently not. Um, so, that means we've got some things we can do. We could do the river, we could do Zozo, we could theoretically do the auction house, we could do uh, the Zen Thief in the Woods, the Sealed Cave is a little bit more of a thing, um, and then there's some things in the world of Rune we can do, including Mobiles, uh, the Zone Eater. Although that's interesting because we have Go-Go, but I guess we could always go in there no matter what. Uh, there's some stuff in World of Ruin and Narsh that we could do. Um, none of which I think we will probably start with because we have like zero levels whatsoever. Um, I think you can get hints from... Oh, also, do we have equipment? What's our deal? Mithril Knife, Buckler? Okay, we, yeah, so we have a little bit of shit. Um, oh yeah, I should also look at our skills. Okay, so Terra knows I should have looked status. Terra has Blitz. And Gogo -Go just straight... Wait. Gogo -Go doesn't even have fu Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Right. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, like, he doesn't even know how to fight, but I forgot you have to actually, like, set these things. It's a little weird that I can't move Mimic from being at the top, but all right. Um, so yeah, we'll give him fight and magic and items, obviously. So yeah, even though the abilities are randomized in this one, um, which was one of the biggest hassles of that Beyond Chaos EX one that I did a while back, uh, the issue with that one was that it also randomized whether, like, item was included in the abilities, and so you didn't necessarily have someone who could use items, which was a huge problem. Um... But this one does not include items in the ability randomization, as far as I was able to tell. So this is the unequipped guy. Don't do a thing. I think there's someone down here who can give you some sort of hint. These are shops. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm, I guess I'm thinking of on maybe the World of Ruin one. There's normally a guy who like stands in front of the door on that one. I think. Mega elixirs we can buy. Holy shit. Uh, so, okay. We have no money, of course. Oh, do we have any items to start with? Okay, we have Moogle Charms, which I could equip. Let's just make sure they don't have them equipped already. No, they don't. Uh, okay. No one in, like, any of these side rooms, right? Okay. So, let's... Lift off. Uh, where do we even want to... Oh, I guess we're at Narsh right now. Why did that just reset? We're at Narsh, so 
things that we can theoretically do in Narsh in terms of actual checks. We could go to the Thunderwhelp. I feel like first thing I should do is... This is a lot of guys. I didn't check to see what moves she knows. I'm assuming she just knows Pummel, but... And I'm assuming that's probably stronger than... Oh wait, she could he could mimic that. Um, oof, man, they are hitting... Well, it's not even that they're hitting hard, it's that there's just so fucking many of them here. I think I'm gonna die. Okay, not if he dodges. And by dodge, I mean defense. Okay, so we just, just managed to squeak through that one. So that should get us some experience and some levels. So I know, I know experience is no longer split in this randomizer, or that's an option and it's default off splitting uh, with this preset. And it's also got a multiplier of, I think, times three? Go gain to level, Terra gain to level, devise a new blitz, got a bunch of cash. So yeah, we're up to level six. So we gain more than just one level. Um, let's look at her blitzes. Okay, so yeah, so she just knows those two. Okay, we're gonna pop back to the uh, the healing guy in here. We should have, I imagine, yeah, sig okay, never mind. I was looking at his MP. Yeah, we have significantly more health now. <laughs> like, because I think we were at like 40 for each of them, like mid to, mid 30s to 40s. And now we have a hundred, so that's a lot better. I should probably also save uh, somewhat regularly, at least on uh, at the start of the game here. the The thing is, like, the start is a pretty risky time here. I'm tempted to do like one more fight or something out here, just to get a few more levels. Come on more levels are you fucking kidding me how have I not hit a single there we go oh wait also why is the said... oh I know why because this is a motherfucker who's you normally fight on the oh, god this thing's probably got a lot of health you normally fight this on the escape from the floating island or the floating continent. And that, during that sequence, the music doesn't change. Oof. This is, I'm trying to think, this isn't the boss of that, because that's the nod, but. Oh, man, it's gonna, oh fuck, what? I don't know if that's gonna, that's gonna redo the incorrect blitz input, yeah, fuck. Keep hitting her, and we'll be fine. This thing's gonna have a pile of health, because you are not... Okay, oh shit! Okay, well that will... Oh, we don't even get fucking experience from that fight, Jesus. Ah, uh, what? Oh my god, that is a... Terrible, terrible luck. Oh my god. I should, hmm. We got like a little, yeah, we don't even have that much cash. But maybe I should buy, should I even buy a potion? Probably not. Well, I probably should. Let's buy two potions, I guess. Well, we can buy three. Because I, I do want to go into Narsh, and I know there's chests and stuff in there. Um... Man, I really, really was hoping to get some exp I Like, the trade-off there was I was thinking, well, this is a hard-ass fight against this guy at this level, but at least we'll get a bunch of experience from it. And yet, uh, absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. Also, oh, wait. Oh, okay, it's not that exciting. <laughs> uh, I noticed that they added that track menu, which is something that they had in the Final Fantasy IV... Uh randomizer, whatever the fuck that one's called. Uh, free Enterprise. Um, it's this group again. 
And that, that one's, like, super handy, because it actually shows you, like, a lot of fairly useful... It, it shows you what you've got and what you don't have, and... And this does not show quite as much, but I mean, I guess anything is anything is useful. Yeah, as, as we've leveled up a little bit here, I guess not only do we just have uh, a lot more health, I think we're also taking a bit less damage from these guys. I think they were doing like 10-ish last time. Six, so we gained some levels. I don't know how many. At least we also get like a thousand bucks out of that. Okay, we only gained one level. Okay, so I, I guess that means we're probably like relatively uh, even levels wise with them now. We could probably beat the Thunder Welk at this point, I would think. So let's uh, let's just say uh, not save. Well, I mean we will save, but heal. Then we'll save. Then we'll go into Narsh. We will loot as much stuff as we can in there. I don't know how much there particularly is to loot, but there's there's a few things. Uh, so... Over here, go to uh, this guy's house, steal the thing out of his clock, which is an eye drop today, unfortunately. Uh... There's no chest back here. Wait, what is this house? I don't even... Oh, this is the armor shop. Okay. I guess we can check the shops, because... Might as well. We could buy a kung fu suit. It is theoretically better than what we've got. I don't know how much better, and I probably should have checked that before spending my money, but... It should be... Yeah, it's decently better. And it was... Did you say it was worse for him? Yeah, it's worse for him. Can't buy anything else if we don't have a whole lot of cash, but whatever. Um, what about the item shop? Ramify tent. Bolt edge. Magicite. Warp stone. Eye drops are, like, free, apparently. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's check out this shop. Thief glove and earrings. Interesting. Wait. Yeah, earrings are what I... No, nah, it of course doesn't tell us, but... Earrings are pretty good, so that's cool that we can just kind of buy them there. Weapon shop. Smoke bomb. Greatest. Blizzard. None of which we can even come close to being able to afford. Um, hi, Deceptive. Yeah, the motley crew of fucking half Esper and, and her mime friend. Uh, Elder's house? Do you have anything in here? Oh, there we go. We got an X ether. Um. Oh shit! I just I just remembered. Uh, the bosses are randomized too, so I don't know what this boss is gonna be. Which I suppose means that. Uh, while this is probably not the Thunder Welk, which would be obviously the easiest boss in the game. Uh, does this one scale the bosses? I think it scales the bosses, so I, I suppose... I suppose it's not necessarily as bad. Uh, well, I was able to buy some potions, but X Ether is, uh... Well, one, I definitely would not use it this early in the game. Um... But that's for recovering MP also. But yeah, that that's a, that's a big MP recovery item. Not not to be used lightly. Alright, let's go up here. Mm, yeah, fuck it, whatever. YOLO. Alright, what do we got? Fucking Doom Gaze? Okay. Fucking shit. Well, I guess at least that doesn't matter because we aren't level 5. But he just casts all sorts of dooms and stuff. Okay. Fuck. 
fuck. This is... Oh, fuck. This is possibly the worst... Yeah. This is possibly one of the worst case scenarios here. Um, because he just casts instant death spells. <laughs> and we don't have any means to undeath. Okay, cool. So that is not a place to go. Yes, yes. I understand the title of the game. Why can I not get into the menu? Okay. So I guess we'll pop back in. We'll grab that X Ether again. And I guess everything that we found in here, which includes these eye drops up here, which I guess I also don't really give a shit about. Wait, can I go into the little... I think I might have already grabbed those and then saved. Uh, can I go into the storehouse? I think this is closed right now, but... Well, maybe not. Only the chest in the back is locked. Can it be opened? Wall ring. Diamond vest. Revify. That one's locked. Garage vest. Warp stone. And a force shield. Force shield's pretty good. Alright, let's get ourselves equipped with literally anything. Mirage Vest is a bit of an improvement over the Kung Fu suit. Let's check against his... Oh, we've got even more that we can do here. So, okay, so he gets to wear the Diamond Vest. And... Uh... Actually, you know what? What? Wait, what the fuck? All right, time to go kill ourselves because I don't entirely understand why that happened. It's like her starting items didn't actually count as being in our inventory. And so when I optimized, it unequipped them from her, but then didn't give them to us. Maybe it's... I guess, I guess we could just see how this goes. Because I guess using Pummel it doesn't really matter. That's going to be a kill on whoever... Has, oh, on both of them. Okay. Alright, well, that's what we wanted anyway. So I guess uh, that teaches me to not use Optimize, which is always not... It's never really ideal, but it, at this point in the game, when you don't have many options, it's pretty uh it's pretty straightforward there's not much strategy at this point it's just like equip literally the highest number all right third time so yeah that is not who we want to fight right now for sure so this time we'll grab this locked. Okay, let's go. Um, we'll start with him. He gets the diamond vest. Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, he gets the diamond vest, she gets the mirage vest. The hat, nothing. No, okay, so, so she has no better anything else. So he gets free reign over anything else that he can use, which is just the fourth shield. Okay. Got the eye drops already. Let's go over to the other side. Grab that X Ether. I'm actually not sure if there's anything in any like uh, any of these like barrels or anything along here. Uh, wait, where did we get that? Did we already pick it up? Oh. Did I, like, get all this stuff and then go outside and save again? I do not remember doing that, but apparently I did. 
Unless this, like, auto-saves for you in some way. But I don't think it does. Alright, so. That's not where we're gonna be. We're not gonna exist in... Narsh. So... We could go to Zozo, but that seems like bad news. Uh, let's check out what's in the auction house, I guess. Maybe we can see what random encounters we get down here, see if they're any better for gaining levels. So normally the auction house, the guy outside will... I suppose I should check all the stores too. He'll tell you... Or maybe it's the guy inside. This randomizer, there was a guy who told you whether there's anything of value, but maybe it's just there's always side is Genji armor. Okay, well, we have no money, so <laughs> this is a, a good start, but whatever. I, I guess, yeah, I guess who gives a shit because uh, I don't have the money, so I don't know why I bothered coming here. But I feel like normally this guy tells you if there's like an Asper here or something. Maybe that bunch of rich yokels inside is a hint saying it's just stuff? I don't know. I can't remember if that's an original line of dialogue or not. Uh, safety bit, back guard, blizzard orb, jewel ring. Charm Bangle or Dragoon Boots. None of which we can afford, of course. But just keeping these things in mind. Weapon store. What do we got in this store? Uh, Soul Saber. Tax Star. Guardian Man Eater. Mithril Knife is what he's already got. Check the armor shop. Mostly just keeping our eyes open for anything that's, like, super exciting or weirdly cheap. Uh, but I don't think we're going to see much of... I suppose I could sell some things, but I... That doesn't even sell for that much, is the, is the funny thing. Yeah, so whatever. Uh, we'll just not sell things for the time being. Check these boxes. No... Check this one last store. Shadow Edge, Phoenix. Phoenix down. Let's buy one of those. Okay, we can buy air. Ooh, we can actually buy a bunch of things here, but air anchor being the key one that's like actually particularly useful. Well, although theoretically at least, I guess, only. Air anchor is like good, but I only realistically ever actually use it against like cactrots, so. See what random encounters we've got down here. RB, Samurai, and Suriander. Okay, we just got imped. That's fantastic. Really, really great news. Of course, we can't do blitz while we're a fucking imp. Alright, we'll just try and. Knock them down the old fashioned way. God, they're gonna have so much health. Oh, well, at least they ran out of MP, apparently. Uh, just cuz. Classic JRPG giant enemies. Yeah, okay, they're out of MP, so that's fine with me. One down. Great. Thanks for sneezing me away, asshole. <laughs> slowing this... Either slowing this down... Or... Making it so that he will sneeze the other one away. Oh! Oh, but of course, need MP, right? 
fucking hate status effects. Need MP. Okay, there we go. As long as we don't get sneezed away by this, this big blobby boy, uh, we should be able to win because the, the Barbie in the back doesn't have any MP and I guess doesn't do any physical attacks. So it's just a matter of whittling this one down. Fortunately, we don't have anything to unimp ourselves. I don't... Ah, uh, well, it's over. That's sad. <laughs> a waste of my time. And now I have to go back here because we are an imp. We gotta... I think we should be able to remove imp by staying going down here. So that's an unfortunate other uh, encounter there. Wait, we don't have any aspers to start, do we? No. I suppose I knew that because we had seen that menu which said 0 out of 10. Okay, so, uh, I think South Figaro also has some stuff that we can loot and pillage, so maybe this is where we should go. Okay, we got drill out of that box or barrel there. Echo screen there. Uh, let's go up to that barrel. Yeah, it, it would certainly um, speed things up a little bit. We'll get one eventually here, but no, it's a, this one. Smoke bomb. We'll get one eventually, but until then, it's going to be a little bit of a slog. Okay, let's start checking stores. Good, good there. Nothing particularly exciting here. What else can we check? Slash, where else can we loot and pillage? house. There's nothing of value there. Okay, we can buy potions here. Looks like item prices are constant across the world. We can buy chainsaws here. Chainsaw is like the one tool that I will always use. Wait, am I able to use tools on him now? No. I guess we probably can't use that until we get Edgar or someone who knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess he can probably just use any... Because normally he can use anything. But maybe here he can only use things that people in your party have? Oh, 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 oh okay. All right. Drill is a good one, too. And so that's good to have found. Uh, way more, way more things in there that we can just pick up than I realized. All right, let's save again. I think. Ah, fuck my life. All right, hold on. Can we? No, that's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Just fuck this. We don't get any experience from it. Why should I even fight it? Alright. Slam dancers and gabbledy gacks. Be able to deal with them. I should maybe just put a uh, blitz on him in the meantime, because then 
if he starts, he can actually just speed things up, too. Because, like, for right now, he doesn't need magic, because... doesn't know any, so... Alright. Go gain the level, Terra gain the level, 860 bucks. How many levels did we gain? Literally just one. Alright, well, whatever. Um... I don't care for this streamer is rating. With a party of four. Welcome? Question mark? Not sure if troll or... Also, why is that not centered? Fuck. Uh. Yeah, maybe, maybe I didn't recenter it on this, but I'm pretty sure I did. I don't understand. Uh. Anyway. Whatever. So, we could go to Zozo, uh, which is around here. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, right, right, right. I meant not near Zozo. We could go to Zozo, but I don't think that's a good place to go. Um, let's go over here to Zen. I don't know how much we need to pay the guy here, because normally you can buy an Esper from this guy. Doors and stuff. Rename card, okay. Tonics for 69 is pretty nice, actually. Because, like, we don't have a huge amount of health right now. So, like, a potion is actually kind of overkill. here. So, like, when we have, like, 100 health, a 50, 50 health healing item is is actually pretty useful. Because, like, don't really want to heal. Uh, or I, I'm going to probably heal once I drop below half health, so, I mean, that's, like, half of my health right there. Uh... Piece. Okay, yeah. So the guy in the woods is up here. This guy. And verified your account. Oh, okay. Well, welcome. For 46,772. No, thank you. I will not pay that much because I don't have that much. Uh. Okay. Genji gloves would be nice, but again, we don't have any fucking money. Uh, wait, is that is that everything in here? I think it is. Uh, this is my second time doing this randomizer. I think last time I did the uh, I did the intro preset, and this is the replay replay preset or whatever. So there's some extra extra twists to this, and and last time I did this was like a year ago or something. Being a bit, I have, actually haven't even played this game in a in a while either, so that doesn't help too much. Uh, and we can't go in there. Yeah, I mean, I, I've played I've played the free enterprise randomizer a bunch of times, although again, not not particularly recently. Um, and I like that one a lot. And this one reminds me quite a bit of that one also. Uh, fuck, we're kind of a maybe. Now that I can buy Phoenix Downs, I don't remember where I got them, but now that we can buy Phoenix Downs, maybe, uh, maybe we can beat Doomgaze? <laughs> uh, oh, can I, well, aren't the guards gonna just kick me out? I figured, I figured I couldn't, oh, I guess it does say that I can do it, but. Oh, yeah, they don't... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, 
I don't know why I did that instead of a pummel, but whatever. Yeah, because I... Yeah, I wasn't... Oop, fuck. Well, alright, he's wasting his turn, too. Again, I should probably swap out magic to, uh, to blitz for him, just so I don't end up in that same scenario again. Uh, oh, but I guess we don't have the, um, we don't have the key for the basement. So we wouldn't be able to loot that room, maybe? I suppose I don't know that. I... Oh, we're right. Okay, so if we don't... Thank you for the follow. Uh, if we don't... Talk to them, I guess we can just, uh, we can just get in here. Okay, yeah, so we can just walk in here. Ether. Because normally, I thought you needed a key to get in here, but I guess that either was removed or that check was actually kind of bullshit and didn't actually exist. Uh, alright, we're getting some shit here. Some, some potentially usable shit. Sniper, Aegis Shield... Arena gown, Phoenix down. Is there something in this bucket as well? Okay, so what can we equip now? S Wait, so what the fuck is Sniper? I, I don't remember that item being a thing. But okay. Uh, okay, okay. Dark gear is a step up. I suppose I should have just hit R to go to the next page. Uh, all right. Shield is even better. Ooh, he can wear a Zarina gown. Alright, uh, alright. Throw on the gown, Gogo. -Go. <sighs> alright, so that's that. I could hypothetically continue... Uh, wait, where's the staircase? There it is. Hypothetically continue into here... Probably a bad idea, but I guess, if nothing else, I can save on this side, see how bad it goes, and then, uh, <laughs> walk, walk out. Yeah, Coco deserves to feel pretty. Sky Render, which we have already. Abolisher. Fuck, I, okay, I need to, I need to do that, like, immediately. I'm gonna do that after this fight. Because he, we haven't yet gotten a better weapon for him, so blitzing is still his best path. Alright, 480, go gain a level, terror gain a level. I'm assuming just to 9, yep. Okay, so let's go to status there. Drop a magic for blitz. Uh, I assume, yeah, okay. I also, that's a that's a blitz that I like never used that one. <laughs> I don't know if I okay I did actually input it correctly. All right, that's just like a straight command, man. Uh, I guess I can just mimic so I don't have to actually input it again. Yeah, I don't. I, I never use that move. Assuming this other guy will come back eventually here. There he is. Perfect timing. Get blown away. Alright. Bunch of experience, bunch of levels, new blitz, a tortoise shield, bunch of cash. Uh, what is our new blitz? That's. Okay, yeah, that's suplex. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> oh, what? How did I fuck it up with her and then not fuck it up with him? Like, what did I... I must have done, like, a diagonal input or something by accident. Also, I think... more effective. Although I guess maybe that's because it's a magic attack? I don't know. I don't know. Or a suplex would potentially be physical. I, I don't remember. I don't remember enough about how... Wait, how am I doing on relics? I might have... Oh, okay. Just Moogle Ring. Can be equipped? Oh, okay. But never mind. We have we have a whole bunch more things uh, that I could... Wait, so I can Rage Ring him? Okay. I thought that was the safe spot. Hold on. Where's the actual safe spot then? Look here. Mm. Okay. That's fucking empty. Alright. Hold on, no, I want to get that other chest, I just realized, and I think that means I have to go back the other way. I don't know where the safe spot was, okay. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I think that resets if you, when you come out of a fight, I don't remember exactly. The amount of damage we're able to throw out now, we might be in a position where we can kill Doom Gaze. Tempted to get out of here though, because we're starting I think this was a safe spot? Fuck, that was the that was the one not safe spot. Shit. Updated the sounds. Uh, yeah, 54 months is pretty rid Oh shit, pretty ridiculous. And also welcome. Uh, we'll just mimic that, I guess. Yeah, we're throwing out a li little bit of damage now. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a tingle wow sound effect. Oh, I, what I just realized is that I did not balance the audio for that sound effect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, I don't know how loud that was. <laughs> I'm guessing very. I, I went and added the sound effect, and then uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm done. I forgot that uh, that usually ends up with things being far too loud. <laughs> Okay, we got some uh, robots in here. Or inox. The one downside here is okay. I don't know what brain blast is, but it's probably not. Oh fuck my life! I'm gonna say probably not good, and I was right. Definitely not good. Oh, okay. All right. At least you hit a target. Okay. 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 That's not great. 
Or a bolt. Or a bolt. Or a bolt. Not myself. Fuck. 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 Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love being confused to death. So, I guess moral of the story there is, uh, don't get confused. Uh, also, probably that we maybe can beat Doomgaze now. Because, uh, like, we just need to, we just need to be able to do something here. And, and then we can start, start working our way through. But, like, right now we're kind of just stuck in a state of nothing that we can do is particularly, particularly simple. Uh, here we go. I suppose it could also check... I don't know, yeah. Because, like, Doomgaze should be fairly scaled down here, I think think. Oh, I actually should probably heal first because apparently I have like 40 more health than I currently have on Terra there. Alright, let's get us some refreshments. So yeah, my, my gut says that maybe if we just fucking aura blast him, we might be able to kill him before he instant kills us. Cause I don't I don't remember how much health the Thunderwalk normally has. But I believe that the bosses in this are scaled to be roughly the same health as their original counterparts. Um so he shouldn't have that much health. It's like a couple hundred, I would think. Oh, no, not Mimic. Oh, fuck my life! I need to put Blitz back on him. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. 500-ish damage. Okay, this is probably not great for us. Oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Oh, well that's death. Oh, not quite. Oh, I should have... Hmm. Probably should have brought her back to life. Did I save when I got to Narsh? I don't think I did, and that sucks. <laughs> that sucks, because <laughs> now we're back down here. And also, moral of the story is... Uh, we are not in a great position to kill him yet. Because apparently he has several thousands of health. Uh, maybe Zozo? Maybe I... No, maybe I should go to the World of Ruin? That seems like a bad idea. Uh... Can we go to the Elite River? <sighs> I'm wondering if maybe I'm imagining that boss scaling thing. Or if that's something that I'm thinking of. I know Free Enterprise has that. I thought this did that as well, but maybe not. Oh, also wait, I guess we did save here? Hold on, let's swap, swap that to Blitz again. Get our health back. I think this does do some sort of autosave. Maybe? I don't know. It just sounds like act razor music. I mean, it's probably it's probably to do with the samples that are being used, if I had to guess. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like shared samples between them or something. Uh oh shit. I 
Well, I guess we can... Yeah, those are 250 health. Like, I don't need that. How much does dried meat do? I think dried meat does... A bit. Probably not worth buying those, though. What about... Okay, what if we... Uh, that needs to throw, though. <sighs> Although, maybe you're talking about uh, actual, actual uh, melodies. I don't know. Okay, let's try this one more time. And see if I can maybe do this. Just turn, maybe I maybe I'm am I being dumb? Well, Kafka can't do Lone Wolf. Like theoretically. that up. Okay, I'm going to just keep on top of healing, I think. So we use a tonic. <laughs> Probably a lot of them sound the same today. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's just limitations to how how much they can do. Alright. So let's use a Phoenix down and bring her back to life because uh, Remify is not what I'm looking for. Phoenix down. The more people we have alive, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I would have been so annoyed if she was just immediately killed again. Fuck my life. He's doing that because he's fuck, low on health or something. I was gonna say. All right, never mind. Fuck, fuck Doom Gaze. Uh, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have anything that would. I was able to buy a safety bit in one of those towns, which would nullify that hypothetically but i would have to like grind out the cash to do that uh because oh wait what if i put a wall ring on i'm not using magic so that would theoretically keep him safe from like everything seems like maybe a strategy that would work because does Doomgaze do any physical... I think he was scratching us a little bit, but, like, if I can be safe from, like, 95% of his moves there, I mean, that would be beneficial. Four damage. If, if the most he can do is four damage to me, then I mean, I'm all in. All right, that's more than four damage. Ooh. 
Wouldn't that have been amazing? Oh my god. If that had worked. Uh, I'm gonna just straight up use a potion. But yeah, that confirms that that does block his... Uh, death. It doesn't block this because I guess it's a full party targeted thing. But I mean... That gives us an opening. That gives us time. It's unfortunate because she's going to be dead, but so she's not going to get the experience, but... I mean, if we can if we can do this, that'd be pretty kick-ass. How much is that going to do? 30-ish again? Okay, so I think we're good. We can do one more attack at least before we start healing. That should just bounce. I, I, if only, if only that would actually work. Maybe we could just like whittle him down. I get and like, so we won't have any MP left. Wouldn't that be cool? He just wants to doom me to death. Okay, I need to heal again. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, wait, no, not fuck my life. That's actually good. Oh, shit, except that he heals off of it. God damn it. <laughs> fuck you, Doom Gaze. Uh, alright, tonic time. Fuck. Alright, so that's not quite a solution yet, but... It feels like we're getting there, maybe. Assuming he's scaled to some extent. I... I don't know. <sighs> Alright, so we're not doing that. Moral of the story. I've tried that enough times. I've tried every trick in the book. Um... I guess we could go here and see if there's anything for us here. We could do the river, and it might not be the end of the world, depending on what boss is in here and how bad the enemies are. They pay $6,000. Flash. We've got, gotten. Ooh, Ninja Gear, Axe Ether. We've gotten a lot of uh, tools to use. Charm. Wait, Charm Bangle. What is Charm Bangle? Oh, that's not quite the Moogle Charm. It's it's the reduce reduce encounters. Uh, all right. Fuck out of my way. Soft, okay. Wait. I suppose I haven't... Wait. I suppose I haven't been, like, actually regularly attacking ever since I equipped this sniper weapon. Okay, now he can actually have a good weapon, too. I don't know how much damage I would do, like, just regularly. Magicite, revive, blah, blah, blah. We can buy more tonics here. That's probably a good idea. Pirates, wrestling returners everywhere. Uh, anything hiding up here? A save point, another treasure chest. Yes. Heal rod. Okay. That's the path to the actual river. I guess, yeah, fuck it. Let's save and see what happens on the river. I don't think we get Bannon for this automatically. Which is a little sad, but... Uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> no, so we're... Ah, oh, fucking flans. Flans. Slip gunk.
Oh yeah, shit. I was gonna actually try doing a regular attack. Okay. Alright, fuck them up. Fuck them up the old-fashioned way. Alright, we're doing good physical damage here. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do a mimic, but whatever. What the fuck is that? Alright, so we're good, doing good physical damage these days, too. Gaining some levels. Uh, left. Hornet and Bleary's. Just a lot of enemies. Uh. The biggest issue with groups like this is that just, like, they just smack you a million times, and you just have to live through it. Okay. No actual levels gained that time. Wait, I wonder if these... I don't know if these encounters are scripted along the river here. Like, if I were a Moogle Charm, would I have skipped all those fights? Which I suppose is all... Ah, oh, what am I... I'm dumb. Like, I could theoretically wear the Moogle Charm, like... Ooh, do I, I'm gonna save, but I'm gonna save to a different file. Because I don't know that I want to... Lock myself in for being on the river. So we'll just see how this goes. But yeah, I... I'm gonna put on a Moogle Charm. And then, theoretically... Theoretically, that would mean we would just fight the boss here. But yeah, I'm realizing, like, I could walk through the sealed cave and... Okay, so these are, these are scripted encounter points. Uh, I could just walk through the sealed cave and just pick up all the items there and, uh and whatever, and see what the boss is, and see if it's something I can actually fight. Because, like, ultimately I just need to find a boss that I can kill, right? Uh, and if I can do that, then we're away to the races. And, like, bosses are gonna be what gives us huge piles of experience. Buy some new Blitz, okay. Oh, wait, except that might be... Oh, shit. Did I just go around the loop? Yes, I did. Uh, that might just be suplex again, actually, because I realized that I learned that in the, uh, in the sealed cave. Well, I mean, I guess worst case, we just get a little bit more experience here. Okay, let's go left. Two more save point. Which I guess I'll use and save on this other file. I probably should have healed, but whatever. Fuck it. I think we should be almost to the boss fight anyway. It's just annoying, because, like, right now we don't have any, like, we only have single target attacks. It just makes this particularly annoying when it's big groups of relatively weak enemies like this.
Alright. Down the waterfall. Fucking Intangier? What? Wait, also you can run from these fights? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. This is not... Great. Um, yeah, we... We'll get those as we beat... We'll get people as we uh, beat bosses and stuff. Okay, he actually used that on... Yeah, that's good. Fuck. <laughs> she just fucking suplexed herself. And then got murdered. Good. Okay. So yeah, basically we need to find them around the world is the, uh, the gist of this. suddenly strong to this, or what? Okay, yeah, he is. Start flipping this. Motherfucker, there we go, there's some damage. Okay, wall change. I'm gonna assume he's switching to being vulnerable to magic again. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit weak to magic, and we did it, we fucking beat a boss. Which is fine, I guess. I guess it. Ha we have no idea. We have no idea if this is good or not because uh, we don't know what abilities he has. All right, so now we have Strago. Who knows? Capture? Wait, what the fuck is capture? What the fuck is capture? Is that a paintbrush thing? I don't know. I think that's a paintbrush thing. Uh, equip. Okay, we'll give him a sky render. We'll give him a. Keep him with the mithril shield. No better hats. And I guess we'll give him a diamond vest. Capture is essential to collecting Pokemon, yeah. Uh, oh, and I guess I can also now save this onto there. Onto our main main save file. So now we have three people. Should I be a YOLOer and just go and try and fight Doomgaze again? I think maybe I should. Because, like, one more body... Can't hurt. We can throw out more, throw out more damage now. Oh, and I guess I didn't mark that we now have Strago. That does unlock some things for us. Means we can do the burning house. Uh, lift off. I think it unlocks a whole bunch of things for us in the world of ruin as well. nice thing is we're not a not a uh, multiple of five so he can't use doom five on us 
Or, well, you can, but it won't do anything. Um, which means that one of his moves is worthless still. How about now? Yeah, what is capture? I think I know what it is, but... Oh, wait, what? Is that like... Thief? Oh, that's not... Fantastic. Wait, oh, I... Wait, did I mimic? Wait, no, I was trying to... Suplex him and it didn't work? Fuck. All right. Moral of the story seems to be, yeah, we are still not ready for this. Uh, wonderful. Cool, so we're not doing that. Uh, we could go to the burning house, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's do the burning house, I think. I don't know why I've decided that is the one to do. Because I guess we could also, we could also go through the sealed cave, but I don't know. Burning house seems, burning house feels right to me. If I'm remembering correctly, last time I did this, the burning house was a massive pain in the ass for reasons that I don't exactly remember. It was whatever the boss was that was there was just, like, complete asshole. Uh, we want to go here. Alright, what, what do we have in stores? All sorts of things. Probably nothing that I actually want to buy, though. But in here, green cherries, tonics again. Tents, eye drops, ether. All right, whatever. Let's just go to the house, I guess. I assume we can just like walk in there. Locked. Oh, how do we actually? How do we actually trigger this then? Oh, I probably sleep at the end. That's what it is. I think I did this by accident last time I last time I did this. All right. Don't I have a Moogle charm equipped? I'm gonna capture these guys. Okay, yeah, so capture is, I think, what you get from the, the thief's glove or whatever. Aura beam. Quite good against those guys, though. So I guess I must have just bumped into the side of that fire. Wait, wait, hold on. Do we even have a timer here? Don't you normally have a timer in, in this area? blowing them away. Yeah, I don't see a timer. Okay, well, I'll just fight everything in here, then. Okay, Allosaurus. Hmm. 
no timer means I'll just grind out these these fights a little bit. Because they don't seem like they're particularly bad enemies. They're just like fairly fairly easy to kill, so. Like we're doing 1400 damage to them. I suppose the downside to all this is if we get to the boss and it's something we can't kill, then I've just wasted a whole bunch of time, but whatever. Not the end of the world. You get to hear this battle music over and over again. This burning house just infested with bears. Like, already we fought... We fought, what, at least eight bears at this point, right? Can you imagine if there was just a house in your town that just had eight bears in it? <laughs> I mean, I might be having fun now, but if I get to the end of this and die, yeah, I think it's literally, the I mean, it's pretty much the definition of wasting time. Even, even if it was fun, I lost my progress, and losing progress is never fun. And that's why you stay in school, kids, so you don't lose progress. Uh, advise me blitz, okay. Blitz. Fire attack slams enemies. Full half circle. Full, I guess just half circle. Let's give it a shot. Let's try that now. I think I may have fucked it up for her. Oh, that is... I mean, it is a multi-target attack, which is something I was complaining about not having before. But it's not that strong. Also, I like how the how the sprite is still saving, but... Alright, got some levels. Uh... Oh, we have a lot more health now, don't we? I'm gonna quickly just pop some tonics to... Get us a little closer to our actual health amount. <laughs> Oh, oops. Well, whatever. Oh no! <laughs> There's a, two guards and a guard dog in this in this burning building as well. Uh, okay, I'm trying to remember what moves I actually want to do here. I was like, wait, can I now go into that room? But the answer to that is no. You can just continuously refight uh, enemies from that room. Also, the other question is like, what are those guys holding as a weapon? Is it like a little sickle? Actually not sure what they're holding. Cause they've got they're like holding something kind of downwards. Or maybe it's a whip? It could be a whip also. Maybe? Although that doesn't really make sense. I don't know what the fuck they've got. I think it's a sickle. Just knocking out these aura bolts continuously here. Holy shit. Let's 
Is the other door just a trap, or is that the room that has the flame rods in it? I cannot remember. Or would normally have flame rods in it. No, the 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 guards who are dressed up like mummies. Oh, this is the room that I was thinking of. Okay, it's just a phoenix down. Yeah, the bear the bears I think just have claws. I don't think they have anything in particular. But yeah, even then, they're like, holding their arm out. These bears, at least. Uh, Alright, so go back in this door. No one of these is a trap. Oh, it's not even a trap. Just another treasure chest. Alright, time to see if all of this was a waste of my time. It is leader. Okay, we probably should be able to kill him, and if we can't, I'll be very sad. Yeah, he's not doing much to us, so I mean, he's looking, he's looking promising. Fuck yeah. We did it. 20 experience. Get level. Got black belt. Got magicite. I just realized that this counter, I don't know why that exists. Well, I don't know. Whatever. So it seems like yeah, I mean, that's... I think that's the guy that you normally fight one-on-one -on -one with Cyan outside of Doma Castle. I think. And so he just has, like, some basic attacks because it's just supposed to be like, look at how much of a better swordsman Cyan is than, than, like, all of the Empire. Also, we're now level 17. Holy shit. Uh... Maybe now I can... Maybe now I can, uh... Kill Doomgaze? Also, do I actually have a Moogle Ring equipped on some... Or Charm on some? Yeah. Why is that not working? Because I was definitely getting... You know, maybe I guess I wasn't. I think I was just bumping into the sides of things. Uh, okay. So, that's that. We have... Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 uh, we have Magicite now. Haste, X-Zone, and Fire 3? Fire 3 at times 6? Fuck. I'm going to actually give that to Strago. Because he doesn't... Capture seems like garbage is basically the moral of the story here. Uh, so, I think he's the one to learn this first. Um, let's go see if we can kill Doomgaze. <laughs> because, I don't know. Maybe this time? Got no idea. I think the boss health. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think the boss health is scaled. Maybe. And if it's not, then like I'm not killing Doomgaze anytime soon. But it's hard to tell because that guard felt like he had a lot of health. Snow Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think it's supposed to be like a steal. You do an attack and a steal in the same move. Um, but, like, your damage is decreased. So, like, who gives a shit? Uh, let's just have him straight up use Ifrit. The Esper itself. And hopefully this actually does some damage. Yeah, alright. Oh, wait. She did over a thousand damage. Oh, right. I can only use it once, I guess. Okay. 
Doom Mist. That's really good. Yeah, so she's really slamming him with, with damage here. That's doing oops, a lot less now than it was before, so that's good too. Did I save? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saved after beating that guy. I guess I can also use Strago to heal. Probably gonna kill Strago, yeah. What? Okay, hold on. Well, tonic. Just like he doesn't die super quickly. Good. He is a real straggler. He doesn't, he doesn't have any actual useful abilities at this point. Yes, we fucking did it! Alright, we've hit that we've hit that threshold where we can actually do something now. <laughs> Go gain the level, Terra gained a level, learned level 5 Doom. And Mad Sight. Mad Sight? Uh, and of course he was dead, so he doesn't get any uh he doesn't get any magic bullshit from that. Uh Alright, what does what does this do? Tarato It's actually uh now that I think about it, it's actually Tarao. Because you don't pronounce the second T. Uh, ice too. All right, and also HP plus fifty percent bonus at level up. But that was a little bit. Uh, yeah, actually, the the sad thing is that I kind of wish I didn't win that time because we burned through some items. But, like, whatever. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go down here to heal, because it's free. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to do that twice in a row. Uh, Alright. Buy some potions. Buy 14 of them, because we can. We've actually got some cash now, is the fun thing. Um, okay. So now... We could go to the sealed gate. Let's let's go to the sealed gate. We can use a Moogle charm. Do I want to use a Moogle charm? I guess we could fight some of the guards in here and uh, to get our. Wait, did I actually equip Tarao on her? Yes. Because like all of those, uh, I guess we can fight things out here as well. Uh, like ice, the, the the spells that we were learning from these were pretty high multipliers. So we shouldn't need that many fights to actually learn those spells. Fuck that cat. Uh, 
I like how Strago is my sword man here. Fuck it, I'm just gonna just gonna start beating things here. Okay. Ten oh wow, okay. Yeah, that's some that's some progress on those on those spells. Got some levels. Man, if that's a 10 magic pointer, holy shit. Uh, also, did we just get three levels from that fight? No, no, okay, we didn't. We got only one. I'm just gonna try and do one more of those, because if we can get one more of those, that'll learn us, like, most of the spells there. There we go. Exactly one more of those. That cat. Oh, fuck this other cat, apparently. Yeah, Black Belt is handy to have on him because he is kind of chunking them down with, with regular attacks. And so if he just throws those out randomly when he gets hit, it's pretty convenient. Especially when we don't have a full party yet. Okay, another 10 magic points, gain some levels. He learned X Zone and Fire 3. She should learn Ice 2, so that's also good. So now we have some magic, and I think that's also the only spell that Toronto teach, teach, yeah. Also, holy shit, I just realized her health is going up so fast with this Esper. I guess all of their health is going up pretty fast, but still, like... Uh, okay, let's quickly pop back to the airship to refill our health, and then maybe we can uh, go to the sealed gate. Uh, she hasn't been dying that much recently. Wait, also how much cash have we been getting from these fights? Oh, we actually have a pretty good amount, so... Oh, actually, yeah, wow, so if we can... If we can keep getting cash at this kind of rate, like... We'll be able to afford the whatever from the, the guy in the woods soon. What would be ideal, though, is if we could... Um... Can I land over here? No. Oh, maybe I can. Okay. I didn't think I could land that close. Apparently I was wrong. Um... Oh, I should also equip that Moogle charm. Just so we can basically walk through this dungeon. Um, what was I going to say? I already forget. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I already forgot. But yeah, we can just get all the get all the treasure along the way here. See what the boss is at the end. I already forget what these were. Oh, right. That one was literally nothing. That annoying room dealt with. Grab this chest. Now let's hope that this is... Uh, this dungeon has a boss that we can fairly... Wait, is there even a boss at the end of this? I'm trying to think what you normally... Actually do going through here, because...
Um, okay, got ourselves a green cherry. Because I know you opened the sealed gate. I don't even remember at this point. Okay, fight this ninja, I guess. You're that crawler. Okay, apparently did that wrong. Somehow. Still not sure how that happens sometimes, but... Got some magic points. Five magic points from just, like, one guy like that that we killed so easily is pretty good. Zephyr Cape, okay. in here. There it is. Uh, oh, right. This goes up to the top. Okay. Red cap. Switch. I don't remember what that actually does. Okay, that gets us some treasures in here. This is where you would normally get ammo weapon, I think. this actually does. I guess it's that bridge there. How robe. Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a merchant here. Did it? I guess it randomizes Kafka's sprite? Oh, no, this is just, okay, so this is just a spot that we go, and we got a magicite for it. Alright. That wasn't so bad. We got that fast shortcut back. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't bad at all. So what does, what does that teach us? MP plus 10 at level up. Reflect, poison, and ice. Reflect would probably be handy to have, I guess. Um, I feel like I should still just leave that on her, though, because... Although I guess he's learned the useful things there, so maybe maybe I should swap him. She can learn Fire 3. And he can learn uh, Ice 2. Okay, so we've done that. So now... Now, where do we go? We could go into Zozo and do that. Uh, we could potentially do Auction House stuff, but we know at least one of the things there is Genji Armor, so that's not that exciting. Uh, Zozo... Yeah, we could we could do so though, especially with a Moogle charm, like whatever. Although maybe I should No, you know what? Let's let's take the Moogle charm off for a little bit. This isn't the right thing. Dodge, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll put that on, I guess. Dodges attacks more easily? Why not? Literally only beneficial. Um and see if we can 
get a little bit here. Fuck that guy. Fuck this guy. Okay, you're gonna do Mega Volt? Alright, well, at least it's not that effective. Okay, how much do we get from that? Five magic points? Alright. Now, if we go up here... Hold on. I'm just gonna look up what the time is here. Zozo, clock... Time. Six ten fifty. Ten. Fifty. Boom. I'm glad they don't randomize that. Vendor. There we go, everyone. There's the name of the next uh, next dating app. Or actually, no. You know what? That would be this would maybe be a uh, this would maybe be like a wine finding app. Vinder, Vinder, or maybe it'd be a service for for winemakers to directly sell uh, wine to people somehow. Vinder, so it's like finding vines. Maybe it's for selling grapevines specifically. Uh, all right. So, okay, we've actually got a, a Zozo native here. Okay, so he's learned ice too. Matching vines up with people who are looking for short videos without ah yeah, so it's it's like a it's like a a way to find a specific vine despite the discontinuation of vine. Question mark? Okay, why do these kitty diddlers here have so much fucking health? There we go. Need new source. Need new fix. magic points. All right. Devise a new blitz. Learned X zone and fire three and also that which I guess is thing. Um, yeah. What what blitz did we learn now? RL, RL, XY. Oh, that's the healing one. All right. Let's keep making our way up. More of these fuckers. Uh, okay. Um, whatever. I guess I could... <laughs> that uses, like, so much MP. Let's try Ice 2. See how effective that is. Yeah, Terra's magic stats clearly are very beneficial to this aura bolt power because she's doing a lot of damage oh do i have antidotes or something i think i do 
distracted. Otherwise, I don't know what my plan is here to deal with him being poisoned. Didn't really think this far ahead. Just mostly because we hadn't been poisoned yet. Okay. Uh, so what is the deal here? So she's still working on haste, but we're getting a lot per fight here. But I could maybe switch him over to Srafim. Okay, do I have antidotes or something? Onyx off, ether. Nope. Alright. Uh, let's equip a Moogle Charm and leave. Oh my god, that's gonna be terrible. Until he dies. Oh my god, I'm gonna like have a fucking headache after that. Alright, and we'll also pick- oh, fucking hell, I hate that effect at this speed, oh my god. We'll also pick up some antidotes while we're here, because I'm pretty sure we were able to buy them here. Uh, nope, false. Um, okay, I don't have a- I don't have a plan then. <laughs> Unless- what does Raffin teach? Reflect, poison, ice, okay, nope, nothing useful there. Uh, but maybe, maybe I've done enough fighting in Zozo for the time being, and we could just, uh, run our way up to Dataluma and murder him, get our whatever up at the top. Alright. Ridiculous how fast you can, like, get through here when you don't have random encounters getting in the way. I'm just curious to see. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's not actually a real shop. Also, I was in line, so fuck that guy. God, Final Fantasy VI has such good music. Alright, so there's Dataluma. There's our nut and suit. Um, just double check that we don't have... Okay, we've got something better there. This new can suit is actually better for her. Uh, heal Rod. Okay, Magus Rod. Also good. And also it increased... That would increase his magic power, which should... Be beneficial for his damage with the uh, other thing. Okay, give him a stunner. These are equivalent, nothing there. Give him this dark gear, which would be beneficial. Alright, uh, let's see. What Dataluma's got in store for us today. Poltergeist. Okay. Wait. 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 Uh... This ain't great. This ain't great. <laughs> this is one of the fucking statues. Uh... Or, like, one of the three goddesses or whatever. Oh, fuck my life. Alright.
All right, if we can just keep, we'll use Strago, keep them topped up. They'll just keep Aura Blasting. Aura Bolting. We'll see how it goes. Oh, nice, except that's gonna heal him. But not a lot, so that's fine. Psych rip. Uh, okay, that wasn't that bad. How about Ice 2? I think this guy's just entirely fire-based, so I imagine anything non-fire would be fine here. Wait, he's got fucking missiles? What? Excuse me, sir, why did you just shoot missiles at me? Okay, yeah, that was effective. Fuck. Okay, well, oh, except, well, that's actually bad. Uh, how am I doing on, oh, okay. The answer is poorly is how I'm doing on Phoenix Downs. That's probably something I should have fought more of. Okay, I'm gonna do a potion. Fuck. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. YOLO. We're reflecting most things that he's firing at us. Or blocking them, apparently. We are very lucky at the moment. <laughs> Get fucked. What shield do I have on him? I don't even remember at this point. It seems like it is fucking amazing. Oh, we actually got hit by that one. I bet we're about to die, though. <laughs> I guess it depends what he shoots at us and... Okay, that should be reflected. Okay. And slash. Okay, we didn't block that. Okay, good. Yeah, so we are blocking like a lot of these. I'm gonna do one more potion, so I got a bit more buffer to play with here. Level four flare. Oh, oh, that's not good. Fuck, all right. So that's bad news. Uh, so we're not gonna do Zozo, not right now. Uh, cause that, that is annoying. I think we maybe could have killed him, but I, I think we should just probably wait until we're a little bit higher level. And it shouldn't even be a problem. Um, okay. So in that case, our other options are basically to either try doing Kefka and Narsh. Which might be fine. Mm, we only have three people, so that's actually not going to be particularly viable is it because we have to we have to make three parties and so wait hold on yeah that is correct right if i thought that was correct maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong my stream anniversary was recently but i've been very much busy and have not yet actually figured out when that's going to actually happen as a stream. Uh, okay, so let's go up here. Wait, hold on. Let's go into the item shop. Maybe there's something I can actually buy in here that'd be useful. 
no. Answer no. So let's go over to the right. Gobblers. Using the Shim Sham. <sighs> Five magic point. Wait, what's my. I'm just realizing. I guess I didn't have that equipped. Um, but what do I have? Oh. Wait, what? When I left to heal? And unpoisoned? Did I not save? I guess I did. Weird. I thought I did that. I'm gobblers. Uh, I suppose I should also... You know what? We'll just finish that off entirely. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue over this way. Do, 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 do. Okay, so... What is the deal here? Let's just quickly save... Oh, so it's only two parties. Okay. So, and I assume I actually have to make two parties? Yeah. So we'll do this, I think. Question is going to be who Kafka is, really, is, is going to be the major issue here. Sky Armor and Spitfire. Okay, so we've got some fucking Imperial Air Force bullshit going on here. Oh, this is not not great with the amount of damage that they're doing. Ah, fuck. That doesn't help. One, one of these guys down. Did it, another guy just spawn there? It's weird. Alright, I'm gonna need to heal soon. Hoping I can just do it after this fight, but we might have to do it during. Alright, yeah. We can do it after. Should be a little more than one potion each. Probably just do one on each. Okay, so she learned some spells. Theoretically, we should be able to just squeak past the edge there. Oh, I could actually do two on each. Okay, we got to the guy in the back, which is a Lunaris, which is just some wolves. Not a problem. Should be able to squeak past to Kefka. Okay. 
Okay, I don't exactly understand what fight I just got into, but fine. Oh, fuck. I need to actually physically attack these guys. Or maybe not. Oh, I just got fucking mummified. And by mummified, I mean zombified. Shit. Luckily, I do have a revify. But that is unfortunate, because that's like... That's really bad. <laughs> oh, and now we're fucking poisoned? Are you kidding me? Okay, got that Zephyr cape kicking in. I'm gonna need to find some antidotes sometime soon. Uh, all right. What? Okay, we got a kitty diddler and a veteran. Please kill the veteran. No. Okay. Okay. Neither one killed. That not okay. Oh, he just poisoned himself. But I guess it doesn't matter. <sighs> Don't be an instant kill. Okay, at least it's just that that one. Okay, we can we can win this fight in over, uh, under a minute. Think. <sighs> Fucking petrified now? What? I don't even think I knew that that was a status effect that existed in this game. I guess soft is a thing, which is for that. So I guess I did know, but... Alright. And condemned. Okay, can we soften him? I think, yeah, we do have some of that. Oh, did that also overrule his poisonness? That's good. That works in our favor. Alright, boss time. Finbaba, okay. This isn't necessarily impossible. Th this should be, this should be feasible, I think. He's not doing much damage to us, actually, so... Should should be pretty trivial, I think. I do wish it was like an option to just have a menu for Blitz in this randomizer. So you didn't actually have to do the fucking inputs every time. It's not particularly difficult, but it's just like annoying. <laughs> More of an annoyance than an actual issue. I'm gonna have her use a potion on herself.
All right, we did Kefka and Narch. Kefka was actually just a big old, big old green boy. Pile of experience. Go gained level. Terra gained level. Got Magicite for that. Alright, we get to reform our party. Okay. Ah, of course, we're fucking poisoned again. Still, I suppose. Uh, and we can't do anything about that. <laughs> I need to go find some antidotes. I know we saw them in a store somewhere. Where it was, I don't know. Might have been Tomasa. That, I think that's our goal right now. Because every time we get poisoned, it's just a massive pain in the ass. Okay. She's dead now. Which I guess means we don't need to put up with the stupid flashing screen. Okay, one down. Wait. No, oh, no, I guess I, I still didn't have a Moogle Charm equipped. Okay, he learned that. Oh yeah, I can also check what Palador... I should have gone back up to the save point out there. Like, right away. Palador, imp and stop. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go to that. Just gonna do that to be certain. Even though we can probably get out of here totally fine. I just don't want to die. You know what? Let's not even fight these guys. I'm gonna put on my Google Charm as soon as I'm out of this fight. I, I should have done that before I used the potions because I... Could have just done that and... Oops, that's not the right thing. Could have done that and just not taken any damage whatsoever. Guaranteed. Alright. How much cash do we have on hand? 34,000? Okay, because it was like 46, I think, to buy the thing from the guy in the woods down in Zen. So like a couple more bosses and we should be good to go on that front. But I think we might be in a position to start going into the world of ruin and uh, picking up some stuff there. I suppose I do need to burn a little bit of cash. Um, potions and stuff, but not the end of the world. Because there's a decent number of things we can do in the world of ruin fairly easily. Let's actually just go there straight away. So what do we actually have here? Even? So there's Jidor Auction House. There's the Opera House Dragon Fight. Uh, there's the Thief... Oh, actually, wait. The Thief in the Woods might be I think it's cheaper in the World of Ruin normally. I don't know if that's true here or not, but I think it is. Uh, and I guess we can also check the store and see if they've got antidotes. No? Could buy a couple Phoenix Downs, maybe? Oh, 
We're like so close. I shouldn't have bought those po uh, Phoenix Downs. Sell that, we can sell this. Sell one of those just to make sure, and that should be enough. Not gonna use warp stones that much. Uh, 25,000. Genji helmet, alright. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a helmet, so that's something. Can anyone else wear the Genji helmet? Okay, yeah, they can. Uh, let's give it to... Oh, he can't wear it. Alright, fine. You get to wear it then. Oh, but maybe now he can wear whatever we just took off? No. Uh, okay. So we can't do the house because we don't have Say. Uh, no, I guess that'd be Celeste. That we would need to do that. Because Saban is normally the one holding up the house. Uh, oh, we have no money. I forgot. I forgot. We're back to where we started the start of the game, where we were like running around to stores with no no cash on hand. All right. Uh, wait. Also, what is up with how I have my party laid out? Get away from Strago. All right. So, uh, let's go to um, Mobla Mobla's. Do the Foon Baba fight here. What's this down here? Oh, fucking e bots rock. Okay. Alright. How do I actually trigger this fight? Is the question that I've got. Weird that I can't even. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. I guess I just can't talk to him from behind. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's with the ghost down there, but... Sure. Why not? Alright, what do we got? Oh, okay, it's actually Funbaba. Or is it just that we have to f do the first phases of Funbaba and then it goes to whatever the real boss is? This is where he would normally would be. I mean, if this is actually just all that's here. If it's just Funbaba, then we're in a pretty good position. Let's fire three of Fuck it. Fuck this guy. That wasn't actually all that effective. Okay, fuck that up, apparently. Okay, so she does... I'm, I'm just curious. She does... 920 with that. What if she just attacks? She just attacks. Breath. Oh yeah, because that starts blowing people away. Okay, so yeah, this, this is just the phase one of Fumbaba. And then a ghost comes out to help? Oh, fuck my life. What? Of all the people to be left behind. <sighs> okay, so it still operates like the Fumbaba. Oh, fuck my life. Still operates like the Fumbaba fight, but it. Oh, it probably picks whoever's in your bottom slot. So I probably. 
could get around that by switching to switching my party order. Uh, but can I even? I guess we can. We can try it. We'll try it again with uh, with Terra in the bottom slot and see if that works any better. But we'll only try this one more time. Because we might need to be... That's, that sucks, having to fight the cranes. If it was, like, a single boss, it'd be a little bit better. But, like, having to fight, basically, a, a double enemy boss fight kind of sucks shit. Wait. Okay, I don't know. Oh yeah, and I was gonna actually test something with her, because I had done that, and that did like 9, 920, 950-ish. And then I wanted to have her regular attack, so I could compare and see is better for that. No, okay. So it's definitely better to still be doing Aura Bolt. Try with him as well, I suppose, because his, uh, no. Okay, it's the same. Oh, alright. Bye, Strago. Okay, so we got to this phase again. So is it just gonna blow away? Yeah, okay, so it's whoever's in your bottom slot is the one who sticks around. Oh, wait. Is it because I don't have anyone... Man, that sucks shit. No, because this would still normally be just a solo fight. Oh, well, we're dead. Alright, let's not do this yet. We don't have the, the oomph to handle this single-handedly. I guess we could go to, uh, to Triangle Island. There's no boss fight there or anything. It's literally just walk in, walk out. So if we have a Moogle... Well, I guess, theoretically, there's... Actually, no, there aren't There aren't fights. Because those guys just knock you off the platform. So if we just have... Uh... If we just have... Um... The Moogle Charm on as we're walking through there... Should be fine. Alright, Zone Eater, do your thing. Mmm, munch, munch. Fucking engulf the entire party, god damn it. Alright, so now we're in side of Zone Eater. And now we don't have to worry about any random encounters in here. Oops. 
but that is fine because there are chests down here, so I needed to go down here anyway. Falchion. Ice rod. Alright, and then we try that again. Antidote. And now we got one. Force shield. Okay, so we got all those items. Fuck, fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Need to do half of that stuff now, anyway. Okay. So we're through there. Now we save before we go into the room with the instant death squishing thing. I think this is a safe spot? Yeah. Okay, and the next treasure chest is a safe spot too. I think there's one more treasure chest that isn't a safe spot. Green boys, that's all. Not necessarily leprechauns, just just green. Okay. Got Tempest. Around here, go through the metal door, and a magicite. Shiva. All right. Uh, what's Shiva's deal? Imp, slow, fire three again. Mute life. Also, at level up, HP plus 100%. He hasn't gotten anything on that yet. Alright, well, I guess we just make our way out. Oh, I guess I could use a uh, warp stone or something. Alright. Wow, she's up to 1,300 health now? Alright. Uh, wait, where is the... Where is the spot that I want to go with the... Ma wait, does this one not even have... Man Who Heals You? Yeah, I guess this airship doesn't have that, does it? That's annoying. Stupid world of ruin, ruining everything. Um, let's just <laughs> pop back to the world of balance to... to heal, I guess. Alright. Now... question is, do I go to Zozo again? Do I try and go to... Actually, yeah, I guess... I guess we could try going to the Opera House. Because that would be where we would fight one of the dragons normally. I don't know if this shuffles the dragons within themselves, or if the dragons are shuffled with all the rest of the bosses. I suspect that the dragons are shuffled amongst themselves. 
Probably still a dragon. Shriek, help, help! Talk to the impresario! A dragon is sitting smack in the middle of the stage! Don't press the wrong switch, or... Oh, that was, that was the wrong one. This is the one I wanted. Uh, so is that meaning that that's the fire dragon as opposed to the earth dragon that would normally be here? Oh, this is the ice dragon, okay. Ice dragon is promising though. You best be frozen. Uh, because I could cast fire three. It's only unfortunate that uh, I don't have any other fire spells because you can remove that fire by or remove that ice by by burning them. But I don't have anything else to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to be able to kill this guy. He does just way too much damage to deal with. So, we could go to Narsh, maybe. Go see what old Tritok is up to. It's fun how this randomizer... I, I feel like a lot of the time you just end up getting wrecked. <laughs> just like, okay, well, I guess I found out who that is and I cannot deal with them right now. Now, we'll save once we're here. Oh, well, so I forgot that there's encounters in here. Yeah, I, I don't remember if we can still loot the, uh, like, treasure house in here. Or if I fucked myself by grabbing the things in the past. Or in the world of balance, more accurately. I guess it is technically also the past, but the unruined world. Okay. general out of there. Oh, don't explode. Don't explode. Oh, okay. Well, explode if it's 8, 11 damage. Whatever, I don't give a shit. And exploder. Uh, how are we doing on those... Things. Okay, so that's like almost done. He's almost done with that. It's just annoying because usually, usually those explosion like self self destruct kind of abilities. Uh, are pretty strong. But, like, if it does 11 damage to me and they just instantly die, I, I don't mind. Oh, this is one of these groups that, if they're the ones that don't actually attack you, if you just sit there, they will heal you. Okay, so I 
think he's done with that now, or did I just imagine that? Yeah, he is actually done. Uh, so infant stop or finish. Yeah, let's just do this one in the meantime. <laughs> Look at how much more health she has than anyone else because she's been using these espers that have the health increase bonuses. She's at 1500 and Strago's at like 700. Even Gogo -Go is at like a thousand. Yeah, that, that explode must be equal to however much health they have left, I guess. I guess that's lock. Oh yeah, I guess you can't get in there unless you have lock. Zombone. I don't want to see the zombo- Zombone. I'd also like it if the Zombone didn't explode. really fast here. Also getting a whole pile of cash. Wait, hold on. How are... Th oh, I guess because we fought the, the Kafka fight without him. It's like, how are they so many levels higher? So I suppose that also helps with their health difference. So, I mean, I could, I could use Moogle Charms and, and remove these random encounters, but they are beneficial in terms of just blasting some, blasting some levels out. This way, try and get up to uh, where Tritok is, which is on the cliff face. I do wish I could target the blitzes. That would also be. Oh, that's gonna suck. That would make them a lot more useful. Okay, he learned Imp. So now if we get Imped again, he can at least help from that front. What's he doing on that? I think he might be done. Yeah. What's she doing on Shiva? Oops. Uh, okay, yeah, let's let's switch her over here. We'll put him on Shiva. So that he can start getting some of this massive, massive uh, HP bonuses. Um, okay. Probably use a potion on him. It's 
something I was gonna do in the last fight, but it didn't happen before the end of the fight. Okay. Magic points, dragon game levels, learning life. So now we have two people who know how to use life, and wow, he just got 300 health. Like, or at least 200. He might have been close to the 800 mark already. He just got so much health from that fight. <laughs> or from, from gaining those levels. Okay, so we want to go this way. And then we need to get past the dragon to the save point. I don't know if this is a... I can never remember, because in Final Fantasy IV, the slimes and stuff are usually magic only. I think? Okay. Kill. Wow. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was wondering what would happen if I killed him before. Uh, <sighs> should just leave and use the healing in the airship, but I don't want to, so I'm just gonna do that. Blinded, but that's fine. Step mine. Okay, whatever. I'd love to learn like a cure spell or something. We have life now, which is good and all, but. Oh, we have life now, so I didn't need to use that fucking phoenix down that I just used. I just realized. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just not worry about that. But it'd be cool to get it'd be cool to get a healing spell, or actually literally heal, so that we could remove status effects. Uh, that would also be good. here. Alright. Terra gained level. Come on. Can you stop it. Good, same target. Perfect. Cast Pearl Jam to fully heal here. Have a peek at how much health Strago has now. 1368. God, he's learning health so fast. Alright, so now we need to get through here without being caught out by the fucking dragon. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna run from this fight, even, I think. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to put on Moogle Charm so that I don't have to think about random encounters as we're trying to dodge this. Should be a save point here, yes. Is there a tent in my inventory? A sleeping bag, which is not quite what I want. No, we don't have a tent, that's unfortunate. But we can just use potions. And we'll save. And then we'll go over here. Let's see what this boss is. Please be something easy. Chatternook. Okay, this shouldn't be the end of the world. We just got a naked lady hiding in some mist here. Probably should just literally wait until uh, actual Chatternuck pops out. Oh, like that. Alright. Wait, what is going on? There we go. Okay. It's like weird animation because the actual proper background of the fight isn't there. It's also interesting because you get a good look at like what Chatternuck actually looks like here. This is also typically a, a much more... Um, slow and, like, defensive fight normally, because I think he normally automatically switches back to uh, lady form, like, after every time you damage him. I know in the randomizer they they made they changed his behavior so that he's a little less annoying. There we go. All right. Boom. And what do we get? I'm assuming Magicite, but I guess it could be a person. I think. Drag again to level, go again to level, Terra again to level, got a new blitz. Yeah, match site, okay. Odin. Not that it really matters what we actually get. Oh, and that, of course, lets us go down into the. To Umaro's area, but we can't do that. Until we have Mog, I imagine. Uh, Alright, so... Here we got Odin. Okay, that just teaches us poison. Which isn't particularly useful because one, poison isn't useful. And also we have this that teaches poison at a rate of ten times. And this doesn't give us any bonuses, so... Uh, what should I actually have her on, then? I guess Raphim. He doing on Shiva? Okay, he's finished with Shiva, but man, it'd be nice to maybe leave him there a little bit longer so that he gets a whole pile more health. Uh, okay. So we can save after that. I guess we could give the dragon a shot? Ah, but my health is so low. I guess I, I could go back out to the the airship, heal, come back. 
go back to the airship, go to the world balance, heal, go back to the world of ruin, come back here, try it. But yeah, let, let's not. We do know we need to beat one dragon, though. But I, I think we should probably wait until we're a bit higher level to start trying to fight dragons. Because they are, they are definitely later game bosses, so. Yeah, it's locked, okay. I guess, like, pretty much everything is... Oh, wait, actually, hold on. We can go in here and heal, can't we? I think that's a full heal. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we've done that. What now? Uh, maybe we're in a position to actually beat, um, beat Poltergeist. Let's try that again. It's been a while, we've gotten some, gotten some levels. Like, I feel like we've probably got, like, ten more levels than we did last time. Hmm. Just trying to figure out whether I should change the Esper on on Strago so that he learns new spells from the, the magic points that we'll get from beating this. Or if I should leave it on the same one that he already is on so that when we get a bunch of levels he gets a big pile of health. I think I've opted for getting the big pile of health. Because we can get the magic pretty easily, the level ups are a little more tricky. I just wish we could equip, uh... I don't think I went up to this door last time. I think there's a treasure chest in here. Yeah. Uh... I, I wish I could equip Espers on Gogo, -Go so that he could get some of these benefits as well, but he cannot, so... Yeah. Let me in. Try it again. Cause he wasn't too bad when we fought him last time. And now we have a lot more health. Probably should have tried to get more, uh, um, uh, more potions and stuff, but whatever. bit of damage across the whole party, but not enough to be concerned about yet, I don't think. Okay, throwing out some fire skeins. One fire skein just to her, okay. Uh, it's probably more worthwhile to have her do this and then have someone else heal her, just because she does the most damage by far. She does, like, double anyone else.
This seems promising. We're like really walloping him here. Flare is not great, but it's great if he casts it on himself. Well, I guess that heals him though, so. Not not great from that perspective. Oh, it actually still hurt him. Oh yeah, because Flare isn't actually a fire elemental spell. I forgot that. For whatever reason. I would also guess that he probably only starts casting Flare once he's low. I don't know if that's actually true, but... He seems like he's getting into, like, panic mode, if I had to guess. There we go. Yes, he probably was. Alright. So that's... Dataluma. Dedaluma. 12,420 experience points. 50 magic points. Strago gained a level. Gogo -go gained a level. Air learned reflect and poison and ice. Got an aura lance. Uh, yeah, okay. So he's got almost 2,000 health now. Um, switch him on to something else, maybe? Actually, is there even like anything else that makes sense for him to have? Oh, it actually doesn't, so I guess I'll just leave him on that for now. We could learn haste, but, like, kind of who gives a shit. Yeah, I've actually got, like, everything learned. So I guess I'll put... Her on Ifrit to learn haste, just to be sure, but... It's not particularly crucial. Okay. So we got Locke. So we have another party member now. Uh, that's in there. So that also unlocks some new things for us to do. Which is cool. We can go fight Tunnel Armor in in the Figaro Caves. Uh, we will start by giving him literally anything to wear. At this point, I can start doing optimize and pretending that that's a good thing to do. Alright, let's get out of here. This would normally be a, a cutscene exit, but not today. Okay, so that's Sozo done in the world of balance. is... Yeah, I guess let's go fight Tunnel Armor. That's, or at least see what Tunnel Armor is today. Uh, this way. We can use the crane to go down. Save us a little bit of time there. Oh, wait. I guess you need to do that because you actually can't backtrack through that area because that's the little chunk of, of the building where there's the continuous swarm of guys and you wouldn't be able to get through the hall. I don't think I ever realized that that's why that crane is there. It's because that's an unbacktrackable little chunk. Alright, so let's do this. We'll go buy some more potions. Oops, maybe not quite that many. Uh, buy 22 and bring it up to 30. Oh, I guess we can also give Locke an Esper. And the question is, where do we start with him? Maybe Toronto. Alright, so let's go to the Tunnel Armor Cave. Uh, which is over here. I might need to... I don't know. I don't think I need to enter from the other side of the cave. I should be able to just do it here. I did actually save, right? 
I'll just do it again just to be sure. Uh, yeah, I might need to come in from the other door again. Like, go here and come back out. Now, oh, maybe I actually knew, do legitimately need to go all the way through the cave from the other side. Alright, well, we can do that. Uh, wherever the other side is, there it is. That. Yeah, okay, there we go. I wonder if now that I've gone in this side of the cave, if I could then leave, fly to the other end, and... and just walk in the other door. Like, I wonder if I just need to trigger it from that entrance, or if, if I actually have to go all the way through from this side. Alright, well... See who it is. Oh, it's okay. Interesting, it's actually Dataluma. Oh, I didn't look to see what bullshit he had, but apparently he has rage. Oh, but he's pretty strong. Maybe hit him with a fire three. Dataluma using potions and tonics. God, he's just burning through them there. What the hell? I think we must have, like, kicked his shit in. his little chumps. Alright, he's dead. Oh, and interesting that when he dies, he automatically takes his, uh, his little friends with him. Alright, that's, uh, that's another one of those done then. Big pile of experience. Drag again to level, tear again to level. Got a headband, got some GP. Oh, hello, friend! Uh, hmm. The problem is, I don't know if I want him or not because I have no idea what abilities he has. Let's put Gogo -Go away for right now. Uh, that's not. What I wanted to do. Status. What do you have? Slots. Eh. I'm not sold on it. I'm gonna have to go back to the other side to get my airship, aren't I? Oh no, they actually moved it over here. Okay. That's nice. Uh, alright, so let's go back in here. Let's put Cyan away. Where is he hiding normally? Oh, I think he's hiding in the engine room. Oh, never mind. I wasn't looking for Cyan. Uh, yeah, we'll change the party members. We'll do you. We'll do you. Ah, the question is... Are there... Lock or Cyan is more useful here, even. Or, I don't know. I guess Strago, we've got that, like, we've put in the effort to actually get him to learn some spells 
up to this point. So there's some benefit there. Gogo is probably the one I would take out if I could, but he is able to help blast shit with, with other blitzes, so like, I don't know. It is hard to say exactly what our best bet is there, or like, in terms of who's in our party. Uh, but, it is now time to end the stream. So, uh, we will save and call it there. Um, and next week we'll probably just blast out the rest of this, is my guess. We're, we're, we've hit, a, we've hit a point where we're, like, able to actually just kick, sh kick shit in for the most part. So, it's, it's starting to ease up a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. So, no stream tomorrow, because it's Monday, uh, and we'll be back to Pokemon on Tuesday. Probably be getting pretty close to the end of that by then as well. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and good night.